Hi, my name is Dr. Stefan Esser with RestoreHealthUSA.com. Our goal here with Restore Health USA is to help you know your body better so that you can achieve your best health. Part of that is knowing some basic anatomy. Now, you don't need to go to medical school to know the basic bones. Today, I want to introduce you as a little primer to the bony anatomy of your body. So when you point somewhere and say, it hurts or it doesn't work, you know what bones might be involved. Because you see your body's composed of a lot of bones, and then on top of those bones, a lot of muscle and soft tissue and organs and fascia and all kinds of other cool stuff we'll talk about another time. But today, let's go from head to toe with the major bones of the body. We're not going to go into the tiny little minutia. Let's hit the highlights. So to begin with, close in a little bit for me. You can see the skull. And the skull is composed of a lot of different plates that have all fused together as you age. You also, some of the prominent areas, the zygomatic arch, which creates the arch for the eye, the maxilla being the top bone here, the mandible on the bottom here that goes up and down, your temporal mandibular joint right here where the two kind of come together. Then coming down a little bit lower, the clavicles that sit right here coming across on each side. You can feel them on yourself. The sternum that they interact with are running down the center of the ribs. The, all these ribs that come across the body protecting your lungs and your heart that rest inside of your rib cage. Then you have on the back side the scapula or your wing bone that's connected to the wall of the body and up onto the clavicle and out to the humerus. Together they create a joint where this shoulder is able to move up and down. The shoulder joint itself has this big bone here called the humerus, the large arm bone. Then down into the elbow area where we have the radius out by the thumb and the ulna on the side by your pinky. Then into the small carpal bones of the hand, metacarpals, and out into what are called the phalanges, your fingers way out here. Now let's move back up to the spine. To the, the spine is called the axial skeleton and it's composed of a cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral region. The cervical has seven cervical vertebrae, thoracic 12 vertebrae with all the associated ribs connected, five lumbar vertebrae, and five fused sacral vertebrae. They come together to form this triangular wedge-shaped end of the spine called the sacrum, and at the tip of it, the coccyx, or tailbone. Now the pelvis is actually composed of three major bones fused together. They are the ilium, which is the whole top portion up here, the ischium down here, which connects to the femur, as well as creates the ischial tuberosities, or your sit bones, and then on the front, the pubis, or the pubic bones here, that come up and are connected by a pubic symphysis in the front. Now, moving into the legs, we have the long bone, the largest long bone of the body here, the femur, big solid leg bone connecting down here to a small little bone that moves up and down over your joint called the patella, called a sesamoid bone. Then we have the, on the inside of your leg is the tibia, and on the outside of the leg is the fibula, little slender bone running here. They, in turn, come down and connect to the bottom where the calcaneus, or the heel bone, connects to the talus, and a lot of other small, what are called tarsal bones here, that then interconnect with the metatarsals and finally the phalanges of the toes. So there is a basic, really fast-paced primer for you of the major bones of the body. Come back soon, we're gonna go into more detail about your body, how it works, and how you can stay healthy. For more great tips on healthy living, soon by RestoreHealthUSA.com. We want to be part of your journey, let us know how we can help.